Welcome back to the CryptoBot channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, there's less than 24 hours to go until Ethereum breaks this pattern, and there's less than 48 hours to go until Bitcoin breaks this pattern, which I'll talk about in just a moment, so definitely stick around. First of all, just giving you a really quick update here on the daily Bitcoin chart. And right now, as of recording this video, the daily Bitcoin price oscillators are starting to flip a little bit more neutral rather than overly bearish. But of course, they have not yet confirmed a bullish reversal because, for example, we're still seeing those lower highs and lower lows play out in the daily Bitcoin RSI. And if we're looking at the daily Bitcoin MACD, we have not yet confirmed another bullish cross. So this simply means we are still in this more bearish phase in the market, this pullback within that larger multi-month long bullish trend that has been playing out since November. So we're basically in a similar phase in the market to what we saw back here. But like I just said, over the last few days, these indicators are now starting to flip a little bit more neutral rather than overly bearish because just over the last few days, we've started to see the RSI basically plan and the MACD, the histogram within the MACD indicator is moving towards the zero line, which is moving towards a bullish cross. So at least as of right now, I am somewhat neutral to bearish on the daily time frame in the shorter term, but this is all occurring within a larger multi-month long bullish trend once again. And now if you're taking a look at the eight hour Bitcoin chart, once again, as I've said recently on the channel over and over again, the price of Bitcoin is still trading below 27.5k, which is currently acting as resistance. And so this means that this technical price target at around 24.1k is still currently active because in order to invalidate that price target, we need to see a confirmed breakout in the price of Bitcoin back above 27.5k with confirmation such as candle closes back above that level. Or ideally, if we saw a retest confirming that level as new support again, that would be further confirmation helping to invalidate this bearish price target. And so at least as of right now, considering that has not yet happened, this bearish price target is still currently in play. But of course, just in the imminent short term for the last few days, we have seen a pause in that bearish price action with more choppy sideways price action, which once again is what I've been talking about over the last few days in the imminent short term. Because if you zoom into the four hour Bitcoin chart, what I've been talking about over the last few days is of course the RSI on the four hour Bitcoin chart, chopping around sideways, showing very low momentum to either direction. And the same can be said about the four hour Bitcoin MACD. Right now, this is almost perfectly flat, showing very low momentum in the imminent short term, which once again means I would not be expecting a significant bullish or bearish trend just in the imminent short term here on the four hour time frame, And instead, I'll be expecting some more choppy sideways price action. Once again, as I've been saying over the last two to three days, and this price range that Bitcoin is currently ranging between is obviously between this support and this resistance. First of all, this support is sitting in between 26.2K to 26.6K. And this resistance is sitting in between around 27.3K to 27.7K. But while the price of Bitcoin has been chopping around sideways over the last few days, we have also been seeing a new symmetrical triangle pattern form here on the four hour Bitcoin chart, because obviously here in the short term, we have lower highs in the price of Bitcoin, but we also now have higher lows forming, which is obviously squeezing the price of Bitcoin into a tightening range. And eventually the price of Bitcoin will be forced to either break below this line of support or break above this line of resistance. And first of all, this line of support is currently sitting at around 26.8K and this line of resistance is sitting at around 27.2K. And as for the technical price targets, if we see a confirmed breakout above that level of resistance, then that would set up a technical price target at around $29,000 per Bitcoin. But on the flip side, if we see a confirmed break below that level of support, then in that 
case, that would set up a technical price target at around 25.2K. So either way, we are looking at a potential 5 to 6% move in the price of Bitcoin. But obviously, it is important to understand that right now, none of those price targets are currently active. We need to wait to see either a break below support or above resistance with confirmation such as candle closes above or below one of those levels. Or ideally, if the price actually comes back down for a retest, we need to hold these levels and confirm them flipping in the other direction. So if we break above resistance, we need to flip that into new support if the price comes in for a retest. And on the flip side, if the price breaks below support, we need to flip that into new resistance if the price comes in for a retest. And obviously for the traders out there, it does not matter whether the price breaks bullish or bearish. So it does not matter if I give you a bullish or bearish prediction, because either way, if you, for example, simply enter some sort of short position at a break to the downside, then if that move plays out towards this price target, obviously a short position would profit in that scenario. But on the flip side, a long position would profit in the scenario where we perhaps go up towards that bullish price target if we first confirm the break above this resistance. And if you want to know more about long positions and short positions and how to trade these sort of breakouts, then stick around to the end of this video to find out more. But first, getting into the Ethereum part of this video, this is on the daily ETH to US dollar chart. And right now, the price of ETH is still running into this area of support, sitting in between 1770 to 1820. And like I said, for Bitcoin on the daily timeframe, over the last few days, we've started to see these daily Ethereum price oscillators flip a little bit more neutral rather than overly bearish. Because first of all, the daily Ethereum RSI, as I've been saying for the last few weeks, is currently trending to the downside, forming lower highs and lower lows. And I've been saying the same about the daily Ethereum MACD, which has been trending to the downside with the histogram sitting in the red. But just over the last few days, we've started to see the RSI almost plateau and go sideways, while the histogram within the MACD indicator is moving towards the zero line, moving towards a bullish cross. But we have not yet confirmed any of those bullish confirmation signals. So at least for now, in the somewhat shorter term relative to the daily time frame, I'm still leaning neutral to bearish. But obviously, this is not the first time we've seen a phase like this during this larger bullish trend. We also saw a similar thing back during around February to March in both the price action and the price oscillators playing out something very similar to what we're seeing right now. And obviously, even after that, the larger bullish trend continued on over the next few weeks and months after we finished that shorter term bearish price action. And speaking of the shorter term, zooming into the four hour ETH to US dollar chart. And obviously over the last few days, we have been seeing a lot of choppy sideways price action as expected, because obviously if you've been watching my videos over the last few days, I have been talking about how we're looking very neutral in the short term, not overly bullish or bearish. And this is because the RSI on the four hour time frame is basically chopping around sideways, while the MACD is almost completely flat, showing very low momentum to either direction. And as for support and resistance for this choppy sideways price range, we have this level of support at around 1790. Below that level, we have this support at around 1760. And as for resistance, we have this area of resistance sitting in between around 1830 to 1850. And as for the other areas of support and resistance on this chart, they have not changed since my last video. So if you want to know what they are, then check out my last video on the channel. But anyway, now zooming further into this four hour time frame, and we can see this symmetrical triangle pattern is getting extremely close to breaking. Because if you're measuring out from where we are right now to the end of this triangle, that is in pretty much exactly one day from now. So basically in the next one day, we should see the price of ETH either confirm a breakout above this line of resistance or confirm a break below this line of support. And first of all, this line of support is currently sitting at around 1.8K exactly. And this line of resistance is currently sitting at around 1815 to 1820. So obviously this is a very tight price range where the price of ETH is soon going to break out from either breaking to the upside or to the downside once again. And as I said earlier, it does not matter what direction the price heads here because you 
you can trade either direction with short positions or long positions. But for that, you need to know the breaking point, either support or resistance, which I just talked about. And you also need to know the technical price target for either scenario. First of all, the technical price target to the upside if we break resistance with confirmation would be sitting at around 1920 to 1930. But on the flip side, if we see a confirmed break below this line of support, that would set up a technical price target at pretty much exactly 1.7K. And now if you want to know how to make money in crypto, no matter what direction the price takes here, then make sure to check out these videos popping up right here on your screen because the video in the top left shows you how to long or short crypto. So make money if the price goes up or down. And the video in the bottom left shows you how to make money if the price is chopping around sideways. But anyway, that's everything that I have to say for today. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.